everybody so today i'm going to share with you guys what is in my mom backpack so i've actually been carrying this for a couple of months now and i wanted to share everything with you guys because i really like how it came out for those of you who are new to my channel or my videos i have three daughters ages almost eight six and a half and newly three so i have an age range with me and obviously my older girls don't need much even my toddler doesn't need nearly as much as what a baby does so what i carry here in my backpack is a little different than what you might see with other people and obviously with what i would carry if i did have a newborn or even a baby but times have changed and now that we're all vaccinated we are going out more so this is actually useful because for the past several years we haven't been going very many places but now that's changing and i wanted something that was a little bit more geared towards the age range that i had i definitely wanted some kind of backpack that way it wasn't on my hip or my shoulder and i could have those free to obviously carry a child if I need to. So this is the backpack that I got off of Amazon. I will link as much as I can down below. Really happy with it, but I had ordered this. I was looking for this to come in stock for such a long time. It is the Stranger Things Jan Sport collection. It's the black gray one whatever they call it so it has the Jan Sport upside down here. It's got the S and T for Stranger Things the 86. You have the Hellfire logo over here. You have a D&D &D die over here. The pockets are all lined with the same thing. So it's Demogorgons, more of the Hellfire Club type of stuff. You've got this pocket, you've got a pouch, and then you've got your main compartment back here that does expand pretty wide. And there's also a really nice memory foam in the back here probably for a laptop but I was gonna use this for my mom bag and I still might I was kind of worried when I got it in the mail I was like oh it's a lot smaller than this bag but actually I think once it's opened up it's pretty wide so I think I'm gonna rock this one for a bit the only thing that I'm a little concerned about is that it only has the one bottle pocket but that might not be too much of a problem so this is what I might be using I'll probably switch them back and forth because I'm actually really surprised at how much I like this I bought this one when this was out of stock. This is also $80, so it's much more expensive. I wanted something that I would still use inexpensive because I did want to get the Stranger Things backpack. And this was only around $25 or $30, and I'm so, so happy with it. First of all, it's so soft. It does have padded shoulders. It wears really nicely. It's super comfortable. Uh, the whole thing is just, like, soft in and of itself. I did get this, like, cream color, which I've been kind of worrying that it would get stained and stuff but it hasn't it's held up really nice so definitely make sure to link this for you but it does have these two clips down here which you undo and then you can access this pocket this is where i keep my wallet also my car keys whenever i have them i have all our vaccination cards for covid in here I do usually have that on my fridge, but anymore I just feel like I need to keep it on my person with the doctor's appointments and stuff like that. But it is able to clip, and honestly, this is how I normally have it. I have it clipped like this, and I'll have it zipped on this side, but I leave it open so I can easily reach my stuff whenever I need it. And then whenever you we you're wearing it, it kind of pulls like this, so that's what it looks like when you're wearing it. It's really cool. I really like the look of this. And then it does have bottle pockets on either side. These are meant to like extend or pull in. I actually have these tightened perfectly for my water bottle. I actually have one of them right here beside me because I'm filming. But this is the Owala. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This is my new favorite water bottle. It's amazing. But it fits one down in here just like that. So you can see I have the straps perfectly tightened to be able to hold this, but I really like the extra strap here because this is a pretty long water bottle and it holds it all. So really cool. It has one of those on each side. The reason I like these water bottles is because that is a lock. And then when you open it up, this is a straw and this is a spout. So you can either sip or chug, whatever you want to do. It's really nice. Doesn't leak. They're at Sam's Club. They're at Target. They're on Amazon, which is what I'll link you to. This is from a set that I got from Sam's Club, but either way, holds that, obviously holds a bunch of sippy cups or whatever I might need. It does have this back pocket right here, which I actually don't keep anything in. On this side, I don't have anything other than Lexi's mask. These are the masks that our entire family use. They're Gata mask. There is an N95 filter inside here. It's good for 50 hours. 
that little brace right there is how it stays in there. This whole thing is silicone. It's got holes in it so you can sanitize this. It also has replaceable ear straps as well. It's a great company. We've been wearing them pretty much the entire pandemic. I've spent loads of my own money. I'm now an affiliate, but you guys know I'm not an affiliate if I don't like something. So I'll leave a link to those if you are interested below, but those are what we wear. And I keep Lexi's in the diaper bag because she's pretty good for a while, but being newly three, she's still getting used to a mask. I will say that the Gata mask are the longest we've ever had her wear one. Other masks she does rip off like almost immediately. So in the front pouch here, I've got hand sanitizer, Lysol, Clorox wipes, that kind of thing. Just mainly for restrooms, if we're gonna eat, stuff like that, pretty self-explanatory. And then the main portion is back here. The only thing I don't like about this backpack, which I don't even know if I can complain because it's pretty obvious, but it has this over flap. So to unzip it smoothly, you do have to pull it back like that. But otherwise it opens up pretty wide. So I think that's pretty nice. But on here, I have an extra mask for me. I have one in my car, but sometimes when I get my husband's or I'm getting in someone else's, I forget to grab mine. So I always just keep one for myself in there. And then I have some wipes. We use Hello Bello. And then we have some diapers back here. These are Abby and Finn. We've had a subscription with them for years now, but that is what I keep back here. There's actually two pockets built in. So the diapers sit in one of those. And this is a little, what do they call these? A charging brick? Is that what it's called? I can't remember. But I got this off of Amazon. It actually has a few different ports. So it has the USB, it has a USB-C, and then also the lightning for the iPhone. So it has multiple different ones. I have it all powered up in case I need to use it for my phone, someone else's phone, whatever you might need it for. But I just like knowing that if I'm out, I'm not without a phone because obviously this day and age, it means a lot to have your phone. I have some snacks that did not get eaten the last time we were out, so I just threw those back in. This right here is my pouch. I keep mostly just my things in here. So, oh, well, I guess I lied. This is a stain remover. I'll link it. I like this only for berries. So you know how berry stains can be a little stubborn. Boiling water also works. So if you just put your kid's shirt, pants, whatever in your sink, boil some water, pour it over there. It'll get rid of it too. But this is fast and easy. It's on Amazon. I don't really like it for any other stains. Doesn't really work for me. I think there's far better options for cheaper, but for berry stains, this is really convenient. So I got a two pack. I just threw one in here. I have my deodorant. I have a spare perfume. This was in my purse. I should say that. I don't feel the need to you know, spritz myself down, but this was in my purse and I just transfer it here. So I know no matter what bag I'm getting the things that I want and need. So I've got a hair clip, a headband for my husband. He has long hair. I've got toothpick thingies, flossers, whatever. Uh, I have a pen, some really just tragic Kleenexes. I mean, what is going on there? It's like vacuum sealed. This is crazy. But uh, yeah, so there's those. I have apparently a leaky pouch of never opened <laughs> Clorox wipes. And there's also like cough drops, tampons, stuff like that down here in this baggie that I just didn't want to get ruined or whatever. So that is everything that's in my little pouch here. Like I said, I put this in between my purse, diaper bag, you know, like whatever. Wherever I'm going, whatever I'm using, this is what I stuff for myself inside said bag. So now obviously I can't get everything back in because why would it be that simple? But I love this little bag. It's so convenient, it's really nice. I love, 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 love tortoise shell. Makes me so happy. And then I have a little snack pouch over here. Got this off of Amazon and I like this. I didn't notice whenever I ordered, but it actually is padded, not a ton, but enough. So I have pretzels in here. I have a juice, not necessarily for my kids, but in case, you know, anybody around us needs a juice, diabetics, like whatever. And then there's some granola bars in the bottom here. So I have a little bit of everything. Normally I pack snacks and then toss them on top of the bag. This is just in case I forget, in case of like an emergency, I don't do that, like whatever. And then the very last thing, well, I guess the very last thing is at the bottom. I have two extra diapers. 
at three years old she doesn't need diapers very often but i do like to keep extra in case i don't restock these someone else needs one stuff like that so this first aid kit i actually got from target i got it for like five dollars or something i highly recommend it because it's really nice for five dollars i don't think you're gonna find anything on amazon to beat it sorry my canadian friends but yeah down here i have a bunch of medicine so this is allergy medicine right here i have ibuprofen my oldest gets migraines and ibuprofen is the only thing that helps her and then i have stomach relief for adults stomach relief for kids i have some benadryl spray which works with like poison ivy bug bites stuff like that and then also some band-aid spray it's like supposed to be neosporin they don't make the neosporin spray anymore they're out of stock i don't know what's going on there and then up here i just have a bunch of different band-aids alcohol wipes this is self-adhesive kind of wrap so if there's like a big boo-boo we don't do band-aids because honestly they only go so big we'll just put some gauze and some self wrap on here the gauze and the band-aids alcohol wipes i get that stuff from walmart i mean we have it in the house regardless this was a like a 12 pack or something that i bought off of amazon for only like four dollars if you're tired of constantly going through band-aids i highly recommend it just a little gauze pad wrapping this a couple times around your kid's arm obviously not too tightly it works really nicely so that is everything that i have in my first aid kit so i have that and then behind here i just have extra masks in case i forget to grab the kids or whatever so this is a kn95 that's petite it's meant for lexi so it's individually wrapped and then these are two adults and then also two kid kn95s right here so for me my husband and our two oldest girls so that is everything that I have back there. And that's typically what I carry and how I carry it. So obviously I don't get into the first aid stuff a lot, but I'd rather have it than not for various reasons. I've got clumsy kids. Like I said, my oldest gets migraines and stuff. And I just, you know, I would hate to be a decent way from home and not have those things. I don't get into my stuff very often, but I forget to put it on deodorant while trying to get everybody out the door too many times that I just keep it in there now. Wipes, obviously, must have. Mask, obviously, must have. But I really love the way that this wears, guys. Like, I was thinking, you know, for $30, a backpack from Amazon, you know, if it holds this stuff, I'll be happy. But it's actually really well made. I really enjoy this bag. The straps on here don't feel cheap. They're nice and soft. I love the entire material. It wears really nice. I will say that because of the material, it's like a woven linen cotton type of thing. I'm not gonna pretend to know exactly what it is, but it does get a little warm on my back, but nothing too crazy, but just full transparency here. I'm very happy with it. So we'll see. I'm gonna switch it out probably and put my stuff in my Stranger Things backpack that I really enjoy. But if this one, for some reason, isn't as comfortable or I don't have enough room, whatever it might be, I might just end up sticking with this and using this just for myself. It's definitely the things that I find necessary if I'm taking day trips, field trips, whatever, with my kiddos. And, you know, obviously, normally I pack my youngest sippy cup or something in there but aside from that this is a look at everything that i carry like i said i will try to link as much as i can in the description box below if you stuck around for the entire video why don't we put the car emoji any car whatever your favorite car emoji is in the comments so let me know that you stuck around with me the entire time and thank you if you did like i said i'll have as much linked as i possibly can if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and as always thanks for watching